And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Heimer Lux Control. We'll bring this deck back because Heimerdinger is pretty crazy. We played a couple of different Heimerdinger decks. This was the very first one that we played was Heimerdinger with Lux together. And it's definitely solid. It's a, it's a good solid deck. Uh, we did well with it last time and we're going to go ahead and try it again. Both these cards are, are pretty fun to play. Both Heimerdinger and Lux are incredibly powerful cards. So it's just a, a good, a pretty good control deck. And control's in a in a pretty decent spot just to start with the uh, the metagame. Um, not nothing too fancy about this. We got some chem chem punk pickpockets. That's hard to say. Um, that if they Nexus Strike your opponent, you get to create some random spells. You have some chump wumps that can get you some mushroom clouds where you don't really need to cast the mushroom clouds, but you just use those, like some of those random spells if they're not very good or the chump wumps. You can use those random, those extra spells to discard, to rummage, to draw some new cards, or discard them to get excited. Um, I remember I didn't love all the purifies last time. The purify was frequently mediocre at best. Um... In fact, I want to take out one of the purifies for a judgment. I want to get a judgment in here. Speaking of cards that can just win games and are super powerful, judgment is right there. I know we don't have a whole lot of um, allies to use. But I think that's I think that's going to be worth it. All right, I'm going to make that one change. Change. All right, let's play some ranked. And let's see how we do. Hey, what's up, JJ? Yeah, how do you like the new name? All right, now I'll update the deck list command, or I'll update our deck list. Um, I can figure out how to do that. Edit deck. All right, we got Heimerdinger. And a flash of brilliance is amazing with Heimerdinger. All right, just update the deck. I must get out of here. Yeah, thermogenic beam's awesome. Just so versatile. <clears throat> We're playing against a, a pretty aggressive deck, it looks like. Oh, man, these detains cost so much mana. I follow you anywhere. I know just the place. Good job, thermogen thermogenic beam. Thanks, Alpin Show. I'm glad you're enjoying the game too. I'm from MTG. Cool. Thank you, thank you. Yep, SRN right there with you. No lease allowed. Oh no. This is bad though. This is bad. I can't create a random spell, but honestly, just waiting until you have Heimerdinger and then casting Flash, Flash of Brilliance is a lot better. Wow, what a perfect draw. That was just the best possible draw for us. Paradigm Shift. Thanks to the resub. You made it. I don't have notifications working now because of the new name, so i got to figure out how to change that. But Thanks, Paradigm Shift. Ooh, double flash of brilliance. Anyone hurt? <laughs> Order. I'm reading her. Never ending cycle. Yeah, that's true. We could even hold this. We could wait a turn, play Lux, and then start doing these. And yeah, it could get even a bigger payoff. That is true. Okay. 
Three, six, seven, eight cards in hand. Oh dear. Excuse you. That adds another one, so it makes it 10. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, so that's nine. If I play this, then it's 10. And then I play that, and it's still 10. Okay, yeah. Dimensions don't determine themselves. And even though we're going to take 9 damage, 10, 11, 12 damage. We're not dead yet. We get a whole bunch of flyers. These colors don't have direct, direct damage, right? Oh, they have the one mana deal one damage to everything, but they're probably not playing that card. But yeah, they guess they could have that, that one. <laughs> we got the puff gap, so we'll win. Oh right, yeah, they have the all yeah, they have the creatures that whenever they attack they can do damage to the enemy nexus. Yeah, that, those things. Yep. I guess if I dip, if I don't play Lux, I could have Detain available. But I played Lux. Yeah, I mean playing Lux definitely did cost me. Hello, Flying Tinker. Hello. Welcome to the channel. Those denies just cost too much mana. Five mana. Or detains, sorry. Detains, not denies, detains. You have to change the channel name today. The first stream with the new channel name. Ready for deployment. Hmm. So we get a 3 mana 3-3 three, three on turn 2 because of the extra spell mana, so that's kind of cool. How can Brom help? 
Brom. What you looking for? Well, I guess I'm going to be stealing the Braum. that thing. Don't worry about us. Hmm. Think I'm still like a yodel in uniform. We fight for those who cannot. Fighters. <laughs> I'm just gonna give him some puff caps. I just kind of want to get the card out of my hand, honestly. I want to clear my hand up. Hey, look at that! Take a damage. This one shows points. Uncle, it is good to see you. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay, that's yeah, because that's that's exactly what we're playing right now. That same build from before. I just trained. I trade out one card. Yeah, the detains are the detains are rough. I can agree with that. I basically wanted to wait to see if they would have anything that would uh, kill my vanguard. It doesn't look like it. Hmm. Yeah, there are ways. Yeah, we played a, a discard burn deck the other day that had things that, like, whenever you discard them, you put them into play. So there are ways to get some benefits from the discard effect. Let's see what they're going to do. They may just say pass also, but I guess that wastes a lot of their mana. Okay, yeah, they just said pass also. I'll play this thing. I feel like if, if we just play the thermogenic beam on the Garen, you know, they have like a barrier, stuff like that to protect it. That's what it feels like. I could be wrong. But how they're not playing anything else, it's like what else is going to be in their hands? Besides tricks and ways to protect Garen. They're not playing any creatures. They got all this mana. Like what else what else could they possibly have? Fire the laser. 
Okay. Purify's a good one. Smell a fight. You smell a fight? Down, 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 down. Hmm. Yeah, Trinamore more definitely scary. Gladly, sir. Follow my blade. Excuse you. Trinamir definitely scary. But we can kill the nine nine with the thermogenic beam. Um, hey, Evan. Putting a barrier on the four one doesn't really save health, does it? I guess I wouldn't think it would. But I guess I don't know. I mean, you'd save like one health, right? Like you'd just save like the one damage that would have taken. Man, if they have protection from Tindamir. That resolves. I mean, I'm glad it does, but I'm still survive. I'm still surprised by it. I know I'm just trading with the 1-1, one, one, but they take 5 damage. And it clears out a spot for us. I guess I could have played the 0-1, the but... Oh, come on.
Oh, but now I only have eight. Huh. Dimensions don't determine themselves. Hmm. A sturdy construction. We do what is right. Cause and fair. All right. Really? Okay. How are they not just taking the Heimerdinger? Doesn't that seem to make the most sense? Try me, I dare you. Face me. Um So I just want to guess I need to kill this challenger also. Yeah, yeah, Garen, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Take my oh, right, I forgot about that. I definitely forgot about Braum, that was so long ago. Definitely completely forgot about Braum. Yeah, so let's play this thing. Yeah, I guess I should. should yeah, I should have played that thing first. But all. all right, level the Heimerdinger. And then I guess yeah, I should have played this thermo giant beam to do three first, because then the four, one of them would have trampled over, could have dealt one more point of damage. But I still have seven in the air right now. I don't want you out there, Shredder. Not attacking on the ground. Say no. So I guess I should have discarded that instead of the other thing, if I could have. Alright, um, well. Attack for seven in the air. See what's up. I'll protect you. Thanks, Lux. No, Liz. Awesome. Yeah, they want some barrier, they got some barrier. Got the win. That was a good game. No, Liz, I'm yeah, playing Legends of Runeterra now. I talk about um why I really like Legends of Runeterra over here in the document. If you haven't checked out this game, I really recommend it. I think it's going to be... I mean, it's, it's already really good right now, and I think just going forward, I think this is going to be the best card game.
Oh, the turrets are underground. That's why they're elusive. Not actually in the air. Oh, uh, my opponent is... Yeah, they're playing no champions. This is like a burn deck. That, that, that they're playing. There's like a, a hyper burn deck that you can play with no champions. It's like really cheap to put together. And therefore that's probably going to be a bad matchup for our control deck. It's, it's, um, yeah, yeah, you can play Jinx and Darius and burn, but you know, if you don't have the wild cards for it, you'd want to put together like a budget burn deck. The deck's still good. I, I've lost to it more times than I've beaten it, even with no champions. So this is uh, probably not a great matchup for us, but we'll see. So they're going to just go to attacks or get greedy. All right, so they've got greedy, but it's actually still a pretty good card to play. Battlecaster. Yeah, that's actually going to do a whole lot of damage still. So four, seven, nine. And I gotta block this thing. Four, seven, nine, uh, 12, 15 damage. Ouch. Yeah, I mean, we're dead. <laughs> We are already dead. I got the goods. The only way I, I can stay alive from even what's on the battle. Oh no, because then I take one from this. So no, I'm just dead. They can just, they can just go to attacks. I can't. Them. That was a great turn with the battle caster. Okay, control mirror. Let's see, let's get rid of this, 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 not that. Um, let's get rid of those. Those are not good. Just the two cards I got rid of again. What you looking for? So hopefully our chem pickpocket hits them. Take from the rich, give to me. Darn. Same answer. That card's pretty good. I definitely I don't want to use the thermogenic beam and use up all of my my stored mana because I want the three stored mana for the Heimerdinger. What seems to be the problem? It's a 
pretty bad random spell. But we still get some uh, some turrets. Yeah, they surrendered. No, I just have Heimerdinger advantage. Let's get all these free turrets. GG's. Alright, back to 2 and 2. Get another 200 XP. Elise. All right, we got Spooky Spiders with Freljord. There's a Heimerdinger. Definitely our most important card. So what are they using Freljord for? Where are you? Ah, they get Elnux. I know just the place. Give to me. Also, we just can't we can't actually hit with the chem Yeah, we can't actually hit with this pickpocket. Never get to. What's that noise? The thing is is like all these like little spider stuff, what they do they gum up the ground, and so it does kind of make Elnux worse because if all these things are just gumming up the ground, you don't have room for um Elnux. For the homestead. Flash of brilliance. Rats. What seems to be the problem? Deal two to all units. Hmm. It's a pretty good car for them. So at the end of the day, I have I have four cards, they have five, so they have one extra card, but I have Heimerdinger in play. And they just have two spiders. So right now we're looking good. We still have protection for Heimerdinger. Oh no! 
I'll have Detain anyway. But I just got rid of the Purify. This would have been a perfect card to Purify. That would have been a perfect card to Purify. I can also just try to kill it. You know, we got judgment. My most groundbreaking invention to date. <laughs> Ooh. I go with the progress day, then I just have one mana. But then I'd get a T hex. T hex is bigger than this. Those who endure. They're just passing. Oh, this is risky. They have all this mana to kill. Heimerdinger. But best case scenario, they don't do anything, and I get to untap. And that's what it's looking like right now. Pass, 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 pass. Progress waits for no one. I don't like this. I don't like this still. Ruination. All right. Well, they got four cards. And I got seven. Where are my purifies at? Open because save one minion. Alright. Time to try to just give them the puff caps and you know we can give them 20 puff caps with the two chump lumps. That's my game plan right now. <laughs> the poison puff cap police have detained the criminal. Put on me mask, secure me tail, stop the day. Turn it into the burn deck. I have five direct damage right now. We just gave him 20 puff caps. That's a lot of wasted mana. Look at that. One, two. All right, two damage. Ooh, progress day. Will no one listen? All right, take another one. Um, so if I play this, I still have five mana. That's good. Have the eight damage. And that just nets me a mana. Hey, what's up, boot? Yeah, I think I think we wait. Hmm. 
Thanks, Liz. Thank you. Man, what's I don't think I can get two punish for tapping out, like, because they're already in the attack step. So even if they kill the chump womp and they get their their creature back, they don't get, uh, you know, they don't get to attack again. Okay. Um. I guess that could go wrong. Back down to eleven. Let the light guide you. Oh yeah, I could have transformed my own chump chump into their set. That's that's probably would have been a better plan. Transform this chump chump into one of their like the seven seven, because then yeah, then it would have been gone for for good. That probably would have been a better plan. All right, drain, drain more. Life gain is in a pretty good spot, but I'm not sure about all these drain cards, but life gain is pretty valuable in this game right now with all the direct damage and burn decks and stuff like that running around. There we go. Well, I would have had my two burn spells to kill to finish them off, but I mean we're we're doing good. All right, get rid of the puff caps. Draw two new ones. Opponent surrendered. Three and two. So we gotta win. You know, we're gonna play two more. We gotta at least split them to stay over five hundred. Yep, poison puff caps for the win. You called it, Yud. You called it. I'm just gonna be mulliganing for Heimerdinger. <laughs> no Heimerdinger, new cards. Is this the same deck we just played? Okay, no, it's not. So they have Lucian and he Hecarim. We got an answer to Lucian. Alright, taking down. Take down Senna. And now take down this thing. So now our chem. chem punk pickpocket. I don't like this name. But anyway, now this pickpocket. We're just gonna go with pickpocket. Now the pickpocket is free. It's on an empty battlefield. We get to attack. And then create a copy of a random spell from the enemy's deck. 
If it connects, they could have a removal spell, I suppose. What does he want from me? Nothing, really. Put on me mask, secure me tail, up and die. There's a chill in the air. Uh oh. I do have this grasp of the undying. I can drain three from Lucian. Probably want to do that. Why does he overlay? Um, yeah, I guess I'm not sure. Yeah, why it shows pickpocket as a two-two. It might have been, maybe it. Uh, oh, I think it was. I think it was just changed in the last update. I think it was maybe. I don't remember, but yeah, it might have been. Um, buffed or nerfed or or whatever. Excuse you. Save me, Luke. They're out there. I'll spot them. All right, well, good trades for us. I'm glad we traded our 3-2 with the 3-3. With three, three. Or, you know, like with the other 3-2, you know, like we didn't wait for this thing. Ooh. Don't have any protection for Heimerdinger. But I'm still going to play Heimerdinger, even with no protection. They haven't really had removal, at least so far. They could, now they could have the, if, he, if one of your things died, deal three damage, that card. Yeah, spear, black spear, yeah, black spear. Yep, they do. That's all right, Hammerdinger still got us in a free 1-1. One -one. Oh, now we drew the barrier. Of course. I got ways to find me mushrooms. Alright, gonna remove that tax so they don't just make a four four. Pass. Our ancestors are watching. Still pass. Yeah, new name, K. All right, so we got nine mana. Put us up to ten. This will put us up to the most cards you can have. I got the goods. Got a lot of stuff out here. I have a lot of cards in hand, but none of them are that great. I mean, I, I guess I can, you know, 
have just removal spells, though. I can use some get excited, get excited, and I do have a Lux. Lux is good. Ooh. All right, so obviously blocking over here. So if I don't cast Get Excited, this is four, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'll go down to seven. Hmm. I would like to play Lux first. I could go Lux and then Flash of Brilliance and then Get Excited, and then I, I think we can I think we can stay alive. Go down to seven. I think seven's fine. Okay, thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you, Kay. Oh, MTG bot's working again now. Awesome. All right, so we're gonna go Everywhere Lux. Go. The light follows. Flash of brilliance. Maybe I'll just go. Vanguard instead of get excited. So Lux will transform because we spent six mana on spells. And we get a final spark. Deal four damage. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. All right, fair enough. So is this just gonna do all four damage to them now? No more yeah. Okay, so I'll play another one of these. That's two mana I just spent. They're just passing. Kill that thing, so that's three damn so that's three mana. So I need to spend one more for Lux. All right, so they're going to drain this thing. All right, I'm first going to burst with the Poison Puff Taps to be the sixth mana for Lux. And then I'm going to detain and have this ally capture the other one so that it's not just dead, it's just behind my other one so that whenever this thing dies, then I get it back. And now we have the final spark where we'll kill this. A beacon through the dark. Injustice. The shadow approaches. Okay, well heck Hecarim's definitely still scary. Yeah, they have to just go to straight straight to combat. Oh, this is scary. Uh, Alright, so I only have two blockers right now. Alright, so I need that to sit over here, this to sit in front of this. We'll discard the pickpocket and kill this. Now I'm taking five. Oh, right, trample damage, so I'm taking six. I do always forget that thing has trample. And 
Not dead yet, though. Not dead yet. I fight for the fallen. All right, kill that thing. By the light. Boys, we got Still doesn't look very good for me with them having four creatures now. I guess I should have discarded the barrier instead of that other two drop. Okay. Um... Do four to this thing. Let's see. So they are at they're at eight. Hey, what's up, Candice? Yeah, change the name. No, I you can't blast face with these things. You have to do you have to do units. But I could do you know like these things. Then it would trample over three. I'm like one mana short of just like killing them immediately, but yeah. So yep, it's yep, and it's slow speed. So like if they don't have creatures out, you can't even cast it. Push back the darkness. Can I? Can you do this on your on yourself? Do you count as an ally? No, probably not. Okay, only creature. See, that's five five mana that we spent on spells right there. Add one more. We would have been able to kill them this last turn. I guess I can't attack. They have to block. Ready the torches. Uh, I guess they, <clears throat> they do get to draw another card. Oh, that draws them a card too. All right, maybe this attack wasn't good. Fedricide protect me. It's still alive. Barely. Order, entropy, a never ending cycle. So, yeah, I don't get to cast that final spark because they don't have any creatures. I'm going to heal the Lux, double the power and toughness stats. I probably should be healing the Dauntless Vanguard, honestly.
But I wanted to trigger this, make it 6-1 trample. Isn't that a fat? Oh, that's a slow spell. Boom. Well, it's kind of crazy how we got there, but we got there. One life. We just purified our frostbitten thing to remove the frost. The frostbite. Okay, and one more. One more match here with Heimer Lux Control. Yeah, one does not equal zero. We had plenty of life. We had plenty of life. So much life. Um, it's a pretty good starting hand. What do they got over here? Uh, they're gonna be fast. All right, I'm gonna replace Lux. But I like having the Chump Wump on turn four. It's a really good blocker. And obviously, we're keeping Heimerdinger. Come closer. I don't mm. fight. Take from the rich, Let's play the pickpocket. Uh, I don't know, Intellibeam. I'm uh, definitely changing for Legends or Terra for a while. This this game's really, really well put together. If. Luck. If you didn't see it, I wrote uh, about Legends of Runeterra there earlier today, and why I'm really excited about the game. Well, like basically, why I really like it, why I'm excited about it going forward. Do I even need? Hmm. So I kind of want to. So obviously, it's 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 always good to have three mana banked for Heimerdinger. But do I even need the three mana banked for Heimerdinger with with what my hand looks like? Maybe I don't. Maybe I can play this pickpocket. I'll have two mana banked because you know, assuming I'm going to be playing the Chump Womp next turn. It's too late for you. Get their elusive creature out of here. Yeah, the Spellman is a really clever mechanic, and it's another good strategic thing. You know, it's not just, well, I have two mana, play my two drop. It's, well, do I want to save mana or not? Jump lump. Jump a wumpas. Well, check out, yeah, Shafty, check out this game. Black Spear. Which, of course, I am good with. I'm using that now. <clears throat> Not whenever I have my Heimerdinger in play. Okay, cool. You haven't played something sweet. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, Team Mellow. Well, there's the barrier for protection. But Hecarim needs to go away immediately. D-Hex. They should have gone to combat first. And just dealt five damage and then after combat shot that thing. But now I get to play my T-Hex first. T-Hex. The sun is shining. We should too. Probably could have played Lux first before attacking also. And then attacked with the barriered Lux. But it's all good. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We'll block here, block here. Down from what you believe. So I have the barrier to protect Lux. I'll protect you. No, you're you're protecting yourself. But Heimerdinger did its job, get, got me a, a free eight eight. That's pretty good. So Lux has seen three mana worth of spells so far, so I'm going to fire off all of these mushroom clouds, because <clears throat> we just need to fire off three of them. You know, we'll get the, the other one next turn, so that then it can be six mana for Lux. All right, Heimer Lux Control. Got us leveled up to gold two. Yeah, Zexian, yeah, I have, yep, I've moved. Yeah, uh, yeah, moved uh, back home cross country and yeah, changed, just changed the name today. I've been cha playing Legends of Runeterra now, which this game is awesome. Um, I wrote about it today too, Zexian. You can check it out here about why I really like Legends of Runeterra. Recommend checking this game out. It's you know free to play. Um, <clears throat> you're welcome. All right, so that's uh yeah, so that was five and two. So that was Heimer Lux Control. Did pretty well. We we never used the judgment. You know that we put in the judgment right before we started. We never really used it, but it's still just a great card. I like it. Um, I could see playing less detains, but maybe the detains the best thing to do is just try to save your own thing You know try to save your Heimerdinger and Lux by detaining them on a on a smaller crappier creature Like I had I did that uh, neat party trick one time with a couple of the Dauntless Vanguards from Secession But the deck the deck worked pretty well I liked it All right, so there we go. There's Heimer Lux control all right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think about the deck. And, you know, if you got other decks that you want me to try out, you know, leave leave those comments with the deck list. Um, but there we go. All right, so that's it for Hammerlux Control. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.